Joseph, Kelly Edmondson. Um, we're here today to make some videos for you guys. Uh, the coronavirus has us all staying at home. Uh, so I just want to give you guys a couple workouts and some things to think about with jiu-jitsu while you're at home with your family. So maybe you could uh, use these moves on your wife, your kids, your husband, whatever works for you. All right, guys, we're gonna work on another uh, guard pass, this time from half guard. Um, I have to make sure that I'm keeping my hands on Wendy. So when we're here, I wanna control her wrist, and I wanna control her like uh, above her hip bone into her ribs, okay? So I'm here, I can't pass my knee through. She's keeping a really good half guard. Every time I'm trying to do something, she's countering it. So I'm gonna switch up the direction I'm going all together. Normally I would cut this way, but now I'm gonna go back the other way. So Wendy's starting to dig her underhook and she's sitting up. I take the hand that's on her wrist, and drop it over to the other side. When I do that, I gotta straighten this leg and almost tuck it underneath. So when I do it, watch how I do it real slow. I'm gonna bring this arm around. I'm gonna drop my hips down and take a back step and relock my feet. When I do that, I have this position here. This leg is wedged underneath and I'm keeping tight to her body because she's gonna be trying to use this underhook to bring me over the top and get up on top. So I have to make sure I'm nice and low and I'm leaning forward. If I have to, I'll grab the butt. I'll also grab her foot here to hold on. So she's trying to use her underhook to come up. I'm gonna hold on to that foot to stop her. Now, once I settle her in the position, what I wanna do is come underneath and underhook her leg, okay? Once I get here, I wanna stretch out her legs. I don't wanna break the lock yet. I just wanna pull until there's tension with her feet. Now, once I get to this point, I can kick and I pull at the same time and it's gonna pop her guard open, okay? Now, once I get here, I gotta kick this leg out. So I gotta kick forward and then back. Forward, back, back step. Now, at this point, I've pretty much already passed. All I gotta do is let go of this leg, come underneath the other leg, and thread her legs. Once I thread, I'm gonna turn back down, keep heavy pressure, bring this arm back, and just control the person right here. Okay, I have one hand on her leg, I have like one hand on her shoulder, and I'm keeping my head tight. Again, this pass works really good if we can't get our pass this way. So I'm gonna try and take it back the other way. So first things first, I'm gonna control her hip and control her elbow, and she's gonna go ahead and dig her underhook. I'm not gonna fight that she's sitting up. I'm gonna let her sit up. I'm gonna take this hand that's on her wrist, and I'm gonna drop it to the other side. Cool. When I do that, I straighten out my back leg, and tuck it and recross. Now this knee is wedged up underneath her. She's gonna have a hard time moving. I have her foot or her butt cheek to clamp onto to keep my balance here. And I'm gonna wait for the person to settle down a little bit. Once the person settles down a little bit, now I can take this arm underneath her leg and hold it tight to my chest here. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure just to get her feet to, to be tight here. I don't want it to be loose and she can move her knees around. I'm gonna get her here and pull. Once I get that tension, then I'm gonna kick my leg and kick, pull my arm. To get this leg out, I can't just kick it back because she's gonna be hooking on with her leg. So I gotta kick forward and then back, and I post it on the mat. Now at this point, I'm also gonna be patient again. I'm gonna wait for the person to quit moving around, quit kicking, whatever they're trying to do, and I'm gonna take this arm out and come up underneath the other leg. Now I'm gonna reach over the top and grab her other, her other leg and kind of like twist them up like this. Now I can go back to my knees. Now I can push her hips forward, reach back, grab, grip onto her shoulder here or here, and just keep your weight, your weight and base down. One more time, a little bit more fast, just so you guys can see almost in like real time. So partners get their underhook, they start sitting up. I'm gonna drop my arm, turn my hips, back step. Make sure this leg's underneath. This arm comes underneath, I start pulling, I kick, now my foot that's stuck in a half guard has to go forward, then back, and I post it on the mat. Now I'm gonna stay patient again because she's gonna be kicking and moving. Go ahead and kick and move the knee. I'm just gonna hold her here in this spot. Meanwhile, keeping this knee wedged underneath to control the person's hips. Next, I'm gonna let go of this arm, scoop up her other leg, and twist her legs like this. I call it lacing the legs. So I'm just gonna put my hand on top of her other leg. Now she tries to kick and move her legs. She's stuck. Once I have this all locked up, I can go back to my knees, bring this arm back behind her head, and control her hips down this side. 